Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about <clears throat> CSS modules versus BEM. So let's get into it. Now you have to excuse me, I am just coming back from an after work with some of my lovely colleagues at my at my company and I am still slightly intoxicated. It was an important night. We were deciding on a team name because when I started we were allocated the team name Team X and as of tonight we are Team Extreme. We were doing everything in an, in an extreme fashion. Every variable that we declare is in caps lock. That's how extreme we are. But enough about me and my my transition into a cooler team name. Let's talk about CSS modules and the benefits that I see to using CSS modules. Or rather, no, actually let's start by talking about what sparks this little video of mine. So, I had a viewer, a subscriber who, funny enough, actually commented on one of the really, really old videos. I think it's like at the videos that I made, like the, among my first 50 videos or something like that, when I still don't actually have a thumbnail or anything like that. Anywho, I was talking about benefits for about inlining CSS and BEM and CSS modules and all that stuff. And he po virtually posed the question if I had any experiences working with CSS modules and why I advocate the usage of BEM as opposed to something like that. And that's an excellent question. It's such a great question. So I feel I have to answer it in video format. So here's my answer. Now, what I told him is that CSS modules is a great thing. I think it has some really cool ideas. I only really have two problems with it. And those two problems is this. The first and foremost thing, when you consider CSS modules as opposed to something like BEM, you have to remember that they are solving the exact same problem. BEM is a naming convention that you use in order to make sure that your CSS scales, there's no, there are no name collisions and it gives semantic meaning to all of your class names. It keeps things nice and tidy and things don't collide. CSS modules allows you to do the same sort of thing with one major difference they generate a hash which, al which allows you to use ambiguous names in as much as you humanly want. And that's a bad thing in my opinion. Some people think it's convenient, but I think it's a really bad thing. I think that if you have ambiguous names littered through your code base, something is wrong. If you have the same name for two components on your on your interface, then maybe something is not you know you maybe you're not putting enough effort into it. But the main problem I have is that CSS modules represent another dependency in my tech stack. Think about it this way: in order for me to be able to use CSS modules in an effective manner, I need either a bundler such as Webpack or I need a transpiler such as Babel or something of that nature. CSS modules requires me to add more complexity to my project in order for me to use it. And it produces virtually the same value as BEM, which can work in any project. It's just a naming convention. So why the hell, sorry, would I do that? I'm a strong advocate of simplicity and I think that anything that provides simplicity and basically the same type of value as something that provides, well, virtually the same type of thing with more complexity, well, it's not as nice. Like, you go for simplicity if it's at all possible. That's number one. The second thing is that CSS modules is... Well, apart from it being something that adds more complexity, it actually doesn't, how do I put it? It doesn't 
make like the hash that you get as i said earlier the the yeah sure the hash is great but there's also a problem with the hash there are, i have been in situations where the randomized hash that is being produced in order to make every name that you produce or every class name you you create unique on the page it's not predictable which means that if you have let's say for the sake of argument that you want to hook in to a class name on the page or for whatever reason you can't do that because you cannot be certain of what the outputted hash will be at all times which means that if you have code that depends on the class name of your element yeah css modules won't actually help you there it was actually it will actually damage you in many ways and I, i'm not going to say that that's a big thing because i argue that if you are trying to do any type of custom stuff with elements like you're trying to have you know I, i'm a really big advocate of not using css selectors in order to like class names and ids in order to use the if so that javascript has something to hook into it's much more useful to use custom attributes it's much more useful i can actually make a video on how to actually do that in order to scale native javascript applications without having to create a lot of issues but that's another thing like non-deterministic class names is actually a bad thing i i honestly think that it's a bad thing Anywho, so those are the two th main problems I have with CSS modules. The benefit of CSS modules is that if you have, let's say that you are, you are making a widget that is supposed to be imported into a third party or you're putting it into a, so a so-called hostile environment, then it's great because you have a unique hash. You can be absolutely sure that there are no collisions on the page because you don't know what's going to be on that page and giving names to CSS class names is difficult when you don't know what the person the people who are going to use your stuff is what they call their stuff and sure that's useful but honestly if you use bem i have i've had great successes with just using bem and a namespace so if it's my own personal namespace i do fc dash bem style it's never failed me not once and i've made qu quite a few widgets and worked on quite a few projects i've never had to go back and fix anything and so i come back to my previous statement that i don't see any benefit to using css modules over bam none none whatsoever nothing that it, there is a slight benefit to having a really a really high level of uniqueness but i have so far never experienced that that val that small value outweighs the simplicity of BEM. BEM works on every single project. It provides the exact same, same level of value. I'm not saying CSS modules is bad. I use CSS modules every day at work because we standardized on that. Had I been at the company at the time when that decision was being made, I would have tried fiercely to convince people that BEM will be a better choice. It, sim it simplifies our tech stack and provides the same level of value. So those are my two cents on the matter. I am still not convinced that CSS modules is a good idea. I can see, as I said, I see a strong value. If you have, if you're a widget company, if you're producing things that are going to be used in a hostile environment, they're great because they're going to ensure that like, you can trust that your CSS class names are going to be unique and that the styling is going to be consistent. The, in that scenario, they're great. Otherwise, I would simply use BEM. It's simpler and works for every project. That's my two cents on the matter. Have a great day.